measuring angles with a protractor. A protractor is an instrument used for drawing and measuring angles. Example one, measure angle ABC. In order to measure angle ABC, we place the center of the protractor on angle B, which is the vertex. We align the bottom of the protractor on ray BC. We read for the solution on ray BA. As we notice, BA is on 55 degrees. Or you can count it starting at 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 degrees. So therefore, the measurement of angle ABC is equal to 55 degrees. Example two, measure angle BAC and angle CAD. Again, we place the protractor with the center protractor at angle A. We align the base of the protractor on the line segment DAB. Notice that DAB is a straight line, and a straight line measures 180 degrees. Now, as we read up the protractor, we will see that angle CAB is equal to 105 degrees. We can find angle CAD by subtracting 105 from 180 degrees. 180 degrees minus 105 degrees is equal to 75 degrees. Therefore, angle CAD is equal to 75 degrees, and angle BAC is equal to 105 degrees. Protractors are used in various ways. They're also used by artists, but they're also used in the machine tool trade. I'd like to give you an example of a few of them. Now, say we want to do mill a chamfer of 30 degrees on this block of cold rolled steel. We will put this in a vise, and we have over here, this is a magnetic protractor. This will now I can tilt this and bring it right to 30 degrees. And the magnetic protractor will give me a pretty close 30 degrees. There's another type of protractor, which I can do the same thing with it. And that's one like this. You can see this is a cheaper version. But it'll also do the job. I can set it to 30 degrees. And then I can also Move this here, move the part, line this up over here, and this is another protractor that I can use on 30 degrees, tighten up the vise. Then there's one, as you can see this tool is very precise. This is the magnifying glass, and this is a edge that can be adjusted, and now I can Again, I loosen the block up. Right, this is a square block. And now I can also line this up with this device. As you can see, there's various applications for protractors. And there's a few of them. And there's different kinds of protractors. Teachers use them in the classroom also. And so we're just trying to demonstrate some of the practical applications for the use of these devices. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.